It's the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the beginning of a new and excitingly different story. <laughs> Seven giving his thoughts and views on all sorts of news and today I'm going to be talking to you on a really interesting football model. Um, so everyone that hasn't heard yet, Wayne Rooney is fucking gone! So to all of you Man United fans out there, all I have to say is... <laughs> <laughs> he is woo, literally gone. I mean, Wayne Rooney, well, first of all, that's a backtrack on how it could have gotten to this point. You know, right now it is 7.30 in the afternoon on the 18th of October, and Wayne Rooney, before the World Cup, you know, he was in really good form. Um, ended last season with like 25 goals. You would think the way how the media market him, the way how the whole of the what the whole of the Premier League look at Wayne Rooney being being one of the best footballers out there. And when he was in form, I would definitely have to say he was one of the best. Um, you know, one of the best centre forwards. You know, and definitely. Um. For a very long time in Man United's history, but um, the World Cup, you know, he didn't perform well, and you know everybody came up with all the excuses, you know, oh he's just tired, you know, and that's probably what it was, you know, he was he had a long hard season uh, last year, and um, you know he performed well in that season, but to go to the World Cup, and I mean he. Bombed like he, he was absolutely shit. And to any football fan to tell me fucking otherwise is is talking out their fucking ass. Are you serious? Wayne Rooney was absolutely abysmal in the World Cup. As great of a player as he is, he did not perform. And for the type of player that everyone says that he is, and supposedly what fifty million pounds that didn't perform at the World Cup. It was absolutely ridiculous. Now, forget the World Cup. We start off this season. Typically, a Wayne Rooney beginning the season, he would have been heading the ball into the goal. He would have been shooting from long. He'd have been very creative. I mean, but then look at this season. It's slow, sluggish. I mean, they England just recently faced um, Montenegro and. You know, you know the way our England play. Just typical England, you know. Um, this was it was the World Cup all over again and um well I wouldn't say the World Cup all over again, but it's more like the England were just being England England. Um they have the players in order to dominate somebody like Montenegro four 0 Um, but like previous problems it's always been they just have no team. But going back on Wayne Rooney, uh Wayne Rooney in that match, he had the opportunity to basically put Montenegro away and um, should have scored. Why? Because he's Wayne Rooney. Why? Because he's worth 50 million pounds. Why? Because supposedly he's the best player in England. He should have put these chances away. Supposedly he has been said to have been injured, um, but I think maybe it's just long fatigue. He probably needs rest, but I would never ever thought that he'd be on his way out of Old Trafford. He's refusing to sign a contract to extend his time at Man United. I mean, and, you know, everyone's come up with the likelihood of who, where he could go. We've heard Chelsea, we've heard Real Madrid, we've heard Man City, and who else? Oh, and Barcelona. But you know what? On this Monday, I could tell you that 
it won't be happening because Madrid don't want Rooney at the Bernabeu, so he's not going to Spain, people. Let's get rid of that notion altogether. Two, City, there's, you know, to be honest, that would probably be the more likely one, you know. They have the money to buy him. And with all the players that City do have, in order to relieve some of that space, they could really send players off along with that Rooney deal. I think probably the player to go would probably um, be Adebayor. They probably want Adebayor um, as well as a midfield player. Um, I can't think of one right now, but it it could probably be any of the um, of City's uh, youth team, along with Adebayor and about let's say 35 mil, you know, for Rooney because I mean I I think that'd be a pretty good deal. Um, Chelsea, I personally don't think he'll go to Chelsea mainly because. Chelsea has come to an agreement where they don't want to be spending that sort of money on a striker. But on the other hand, Drogba is about 32, 33 years old, and um, he's going to be retiring pretty soon. You know, he's probably got another season or two left in him. He cannot be playing every single game, but they need a Rooney on top form right now. This watered down version to Rooney is not going to do. So, you know, that's it for the regular clubs that everybody thinks is going to go for. Now let's check out the possible dark horses that everyone seems to be forgetting. Liverpool, they have recently just had their uh, New England owner um, buy them. So um, they're going to need a lot, of, uh, a lot of work. But they also have $50 million in the bank. I'm not saying that they would spend that money on Rooney, but I think a good swap deal would be Torres for Rooney. Now, to everybody that's just saying, like, wait, 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 that, that's, that's fucking impossible, King Brown. Like, that, that is really fucking impossible, King. All hell, King. Torres for Rooney. Flat out. They're on the same level. They have the same exact problem right now. And Rooney needs to leave. And Torres needs to leave uh, Liverpool. Now, the only thing is, does Torres want to go to Man United? And that's the real problem. Now, if Rooney would love it at Liverpool because that's his roots, you know. But um, on the other side, I don't know where, where Torres would where Torres actually want to go to Man United. The other dark horse, uh, Arsenal, my team, obviously. Um, Arsenal have been in need for a striker for many, many years. Shamak, he's good, but he's like Adibayor, um strong. But... um. We still need somebody else. Van Persie's getting older. Um, I don't think he'd go to Arsenal. Um, but um, Arsenal have the money to, to afford him. You know, I don't know if they'll pay his wages at more than 100000 a week. But he's definitely the player that deserves to get 100000 a week. So Arsenal are on the running for that. Um, who else? No to Tottenham to all you Tottenham fans. No to Villa. Because they just generally don't have the money. Um, the only other club in the Premier League that possibly could have the money would be Bolton, but they're too far down in terms of a standard, you know, to be able to afford money. So I do have to say I I, I think Liverpool would probably be the best bet. So um, I think that's what I'll probably name this video: Wayne Rooney leaves Man United to go to Liverpool. So, I want you to think about that, ladies and gentlemen, and to all the other viewers out there, and uh, leave the comments, please subscribe, and ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Twitter, because I'm always uploading my stuff on there, I'm always talking about it, so follow me on Twitter, that's KingBrown87, and um, you know what, I'll check you guys later, peace.